Hi all, welcome to the class of Arabic Grammar of 10th Standard Arabic of CBC Syllabus. It's me Basit again in front of you to teach you the new lesson. Today we are going to learn about Fi'lul Muladir. Fi'lul Muladir means present tense. We have just studied the past tense Fi'lul Mali and now we are going to learn the present tense fi'lul mudari so first of all we are going to learn how to make a fi'lul mudari a present tense it is uh, so much important but even though uh, i would like to share with you how to make a fi'lul mudari once we have a past tense with us it is very easy to make it into present there is a past tense with us like nasra kataba and it is very if we have a past tense it is very easy to make it into a present tense what we want to do just follow these steps we have three steps first step we want to do is bring any of the letter of present tense in the beginning of the past tense we have a past tense we need to just bring the letters of uh, any letter of present tense in the beginning of the past what are the letters of present tense it is known as huruful mudara these are the letters alif noon ya and ta we can summarize these letters into a word that is athena or naati just think of athena or naati when we are asked about huruful mulara or the letters of present tense okay they are brought based on the subject these letters are brought in the beginning of the past tense based on the subject for example when i come as the subject that means i comes as the subject just like a, i do it i like it i eat it we have to bring alif in the time of i we need to bring alif in the beginning of the fi'lul mali uh, uh, pay your attention that fi'lul ma mali is going to be made as fi'lul mudari so uh, there is a fi'lul mali we need to bring alif in front of the fi'lul mali when the subject uh, becoming i were and when we we come as subject we come as the subject just like we do it or we like it we bring it noon is brought that time in the time of we noon is brought then ta is brought when the subject is you or she when in the time of subject becoming you or she ta is brought and ya is brought when the subject is he or she we need to understand here that uh, she uh, in the time of she there are uh, two letters are coming that is ta and ya but in the time of you only ta comes come and uh, in the time of he only ya comes then to get a clear picture about this you should learn the conjugation of present tense if we want to get a clear picture about this we need to uh, learn the conjugation of present tense you know what is the conjugation uh, what is meant by conjugation that is uh, i can simply say you kataba kataba katabu kataba kataba ta katabina that's a, that is called conjugation and yaktubu yaktubani yaktubuna taktubu taktubani yaktubuna that is also called conjugation that is tasriful fi'l al mudari or mali so the first step is over and we are going to to the uh, second step first step is adding the letter 
of uh, present tense then the second step is remove the sound of the first basic letter yeah there are basic letters for every uh, file and uh, we need to remove the sound of the first basic letter of fi'lul mali to make fi'lul mudari so nasara here you can look nasara yansuru tansuru nasara is going to be uh, made as yansuru nasara is fi'lul mali yansuru is fi'lul mudari so nasara is the basic letters and we need to uh, remove the sound of the first basic letter what is the first basic letter that is na na and the sound what na is the sound fatah is the sound so just remove the fatah and it will be n look at yansuru it is uh, the basic uh, sound is removed n n yansuru okay that is the second step then third step is give lamad to the last letter that is also clear in the ensuru uh, ra ra is the last letter last basic letter of nasara and it is changed as ru that is lamad fatah is changed into lamad so it would be ensuru so see how verbs are changed into present tense nasara yansuru tansuru ansuru nansuru nasara is fi'lul mali and the others are fi'lul mudhari here we have uh, four letters in the beginning ya is there in ansuru ta is there in tansuru and a is there in ansuru and nun is there na is there in nansuru that is also visible in the coming uh, of al also just like nadara yanluru anluru nanluru tanluru and jalasa ijlisu ajlisu najlisu tajlisu so every uh, harf uh, letters of a uh, present tense are available in all forms so that's also over we have learned how to make a fi'lul mudhari' and now we are going to learn how to make positive into negative so yansuru that means he helps ansuru means i help nansuru means we help tansuru means you helps you help and she helps then if you, this is a positive uh, i help and uh, negative also want to be said so if we add la before a present tense we will get negative meaning just add la in front of the present tense it would be getting the meaning of negativity so yaktubul waladu means the boy writes la yaktubul waladu means the boy does not write or doesn't write tajlisul bintu means the girl sits la tajlisul bintu means the girl does not sit yanluru rajulu means the man looks la yanluru rajulu means the man does not look so uh, this is how we make a negative form of present tense then here is another rule in arabic present and future tense are one and the same present and future are same in arabic there is no separate word for present and future only one word same word is used for both present and future but we differentiate it to differentiate present and future sa and sofa are added before the present tense to get clear the to get clear the future tense sa 
and sofa are added before the present tense. Sa is used for near future and sofa is used for distant future. Then here is available the examples of near future. Sa'adhabu ila suqi ba'da ghadin. I will go to the market day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow is a near future. Coming shortly. So, sa is useful for near future. Sayaji'u akhi masa al My brother will come today evening. My brother will come today evening. Sa is useful for near future. Sayakhurujul qitaru ba'da sa'adin. The train will go after one hour. Here also, sa is useful for near future. Then, distant future. Examples. Saufa adhabu ila Saudiya. I will go to Saudi Arabia. I will go to Saudi Arabia. That will be happen after long days. So, that's why it is distant future. It is not a specific today I will go or tomorrow I will go. It is not specific. I will go. Uh, that means I will go long after. So, so far is distant future. Then, so far akuna mudira. I will be a manager. I will be a manager. That also will be happening after a long time. Then, so far yakunu al jafu barida. The weather will be cold. That also uh, coming. That also happening after long period. Then the next. Raful fi'lul mudariya. Nominal case. That means. Uh, lam. Lam. Raf means lam. So how to get lam or raf to fi'lul mudariya. So this is a rule. Raful fi'lul mudariya. إذا لم تسبقه أداة من أدوات النواصب أو الجوازن. Present tense will be in nominal case if not preceded by letters of accusative and jussive cases. Accusative means نسب uh, that means فتح and jussive case means jussive means جزم that means سكون. So there are many letters for accusative or jazm or fatah and jassiv or jazm or sukun. So if these letters are not preceded by the uh, fi'al mulari, by the present tense, it will be getting nominal case or lam. Or rough. So I hope you have understood it. There are many letters of fatah uh, and sukun uh, that gives uh, these letters give fatah and sukun for fi'al uh, mulari. So if fi'al mulari is not preceded by these letters of fatah and sukun, it will be getting lam. That means rough. Have a look into some kinds of examples. These are the examples. Yaktubul waladu addarsa. The boy writes the lesson. Here, yaktubu is present tense, fiel mulare. Uh, it has got lam because of there is no letters of fatahi and sukun or uh, nasb or jazm in front of. That's why it got lam or ruf. Then second one, yashrabu tiflu al haliba. The child drinks milk. Here also, ruf or lam because it is uh, there is no letters are uh, uh, there in the beginning of fil mulari. That means yashrabu. Then third one, yunallifu al khadimu al bayta. The servant cleans the house. Here also you only forgot them because there is no letters of nasb and jism. Then 
we can make various forms from a given present tense we can make various forms if we are getting a present tense this process is called conjugation the serif in grammar that i have mentioned earlier how this is done is explained in the following examples there are 14 forms of uh, present tense these all forms are available here so kataba that is the form we have been given and that uh, kataba is fuel mali and yaktubu is fuel mulari how to conjugate yaktubu that is we are going to learn now so yaktubu yaktubani yaktubuna taktubu taktubani yaktubina taktubu taktubani taktubuna taktubina taktubani taktubina aktubu naktubu so these are the forms of uh, it has various meanings once you are through with one verb you can make various forms from any verbs uh, so here is point alif waw and ya are known as big letters if any of these letters come in the beginning middle or at the end there can be some changes so it will be happening some changes uh, when alif waw and ya uh, comes uh, uh, in the beginning middle or at the end so uh, because these letters are weak letters then next what we have to learn how to give nesb accusative case for feudal muladi so this is the rule yensible yunsible feudal muladi ida sabakahu ahadu nawasibil arba there are uh, some letters uh, four letters are there that gives fi'lul mudhari just uh, active case uh, accusative case that uh, it gives nas before mudhari fi'lul mudhari it gives fatah for fi'lul mudhari accusative nas and fatah this all are one meaning so an lan idan kai these are the letters ansibul fi'lul mudhari idha sabaqahu ahadun nawasibil arba and then kai hidden present tense will be in accusative case if it is preceded by and then kai hidden so let's have a look into some examples some are uridu an adrasa an is the letter that gives fi'l mudhari nasb so an adrasa adrasa sa is given fatah i want to learn arabic language layan chahal kaslan the lazy will never succeed the lazy will never succeed layan chaha lan is the letter of fi'l mudhari yan chaha got fatah sa azuru adoha idan tuqima indana i will be sidaha then you will stay with us idan also a letter that gives fi'l mudhari nas that gives nas for fi'l mudhari then fourth one ji'tu kay ata'allama i came to study that also uh, ata'allama has got fatah because of kay uh, because kay is the letter that gives fi'l mudhari nas then present tense jassive case jismul fi'lul mudhari how to get jism or sukun for fi'l mudhari the rule is that yajzumul fi'lul mudhari idha sabaqahu harf jazim kal huruf tari present tense will be in jassive case if it is preceded by there are some letters that gives a jism for fi'lul mudhari these are the letters lam wala annahiya wa in there are three letters lam wala annahiya wa in so let's have a look into some kinds of examples first one la yahlur al waladu al darsa the boy did not attend the class yahlur lam yahlur lam 
uh, is the letter that gives jazm for feulal mudariya yahlur has got sukun jazm then second one la tal'ab fil fasli don't play in the class la tal'ab la is the la nahiya uh, it gives jazm for feulal mudariya then in tajtahida tanjaha if you work hard you will succeed uh, in tajtahid so that's also a uh, feulal mudari and it has got jazm sukun so these are the things we have to learn we have learned many items through this lesson first of all we learned how to make feulal mudari when we get a feulal mali and there are three steps three steps to make a uh, present tense or feudal mularia and we have learned what are the steps then we learned how to make uh, the mularia feel negative just like i uh, just add la in before the present tense uh, that's how it gets uh, the meaning of negativity then we learned about a uh, uh, present tense and future tense uh, the forms of present and t future are same so they have made some changes to identify that is sa and sofa so sa is used for near future and sofa is used for distant future and there are examples then we learned uh, how to get uh feel mulari rough how to how rough is got for feel mulari uh that we have learned uh, the present tense will be in normal case if not preceded by lectures of accusative and gestive and there are some lectures for accusative and gestive also uh this is how feel mulari is feel mali uh, mulari is conjugated then we learned how to uh, give nasb for feel mulari there are three letters and then even kai then we learned how to give jazm for feel mulari uh, there are three letters that is lam wala annahiya and wa in so thank you guys here we are going to put an end for feral mularia these are the things we have to learn about feral mularia so i hope you have enjoyed my class if you enjoy my class make sure you subscribe my channel and uh, i'm planning to do all the videos all the classes of uh, arabic grammar and i need your help just share it into your friends and schoolmates okay let it reach to many people and let them study oh thank you have a nice day see you next day with the new chapter